So thank you for welcoming me, everybody. Today, for our 10 minutes, I've invited some of our fellow BNI members who are also clients of Creative Agency Secrets to sit alongside me. And we're going to run through some of the things that have happened for them and with them as a result of the work we've done together. Creative Agency Secrets are experts in navigating the marketing landscape. We understand a lot of the new things that are going on online and offline. Business owners come to us because they want a solution to the problem of where am I going to get more sales? Where am I going to get more inquiries for my business? And that's where marketing can help out. The sort of things that we do for our clients help them to relax and know that the marketing will happen for them every single month without fail. So our execution skills are a key part of the overall business. When people are thinking about marketing, it's often felt that it's uh, unknown. People don't understand it. And so business owners will say things like, there's too much for me to learn, for me to feel confident about doing marketing, or I'm not sure what sort of marketing I should be doing for my business. So by talking to some of our clients, we can showcase some of the ideas that I've had that have helped them to get their businesses going. Malcolm has started a new business. Tell us about it, Mel. Okay, so um, a couple of years ago, I had an idea of wanting to set up a marketing program for <clears throat> other people in the health and wellness industry. It's a very under-supported industry. So I had a, a great idea, and I've, I've kind of developed a program, but then I ran into the um, problem myself of not actually knowing quite how to take what I developed and get it out into the world. So I approached Rebecca to, um, at the start, it was simply to get a, a, a detailed marketing plan about how I would go about um, starting and then progressing through, um, at the time it was the first six to 12 months, really, of the marketing plan. <clears throat> and, um, and it was incredibly useful because I, you know, I, was, I was a little bit um, like a, a duck out of water at the time, you know, I was swimming around with this idea, but a little bit unfocused. So Rebecca really helped me focus with my, with the marketing, marketing plan, which is ironic considering I was doing a marketing program, but anyway, let's not go there. Um, and then, so, so, so that helped for the first six to 12 months. And now I'm still working with Rebecca, but we're kind of come going more into a, a partnership, working as a partnership really where uh, I'm, I'm now focusing really on delivery of my program and Rebecca's helping me with the um, and taking over some of the actual marketing aspects that I just either haven't got time or, or as much interest in as Rebecca does and I'm certainly a believer in do the things I'm do the things I'm good at and farm out the things that I'm not so good at or at least that I'm not as interested in and, and Rebecca's been fantastic for that and <clears throat> and the last meeting I, I had with them I realised that in the space of about 30 minutes, they had done something that would take me about five hours to do at home. So I was incredibly grateful for that. <laughs> so yeah, it's been um, it's it's uh, I'm only at the beginning of only at the beginning of my journey, but I certainly feel like uh, it's gonna it's going a hell of a lot better with Rebecca than if I wasn't with Rebecca. Karen is an ambitious accounting firm who had just completed a merger when we first met, and we're still working together now, Karen. Three years later. <laughs> yep, we are. Um, so one of the things I realised in our business was that um, my, one of my responsibilities as a partner was to look after the marketing of our business. Um, between the three partners, we've sort of split up the um, areas, and for some reason, I got marketing. Um, and we had a an, we have a receptionist um, admin lady who is quite good at marketing um, at a administration level and she was looking after all of the um, basic um, getting newsletters out and um, basic um, customer service type marketing but we needed something in between that so I'm not a marketing expert she wasn't at a level that we, we could deliver the sort of marketing that we needed and we needed someone in between um, initially to give us a marketing plan 
So we, we got Rebecca on board and Creative Agency Secrets and we developed a marketing plan. Um, what we wanted to achieve was to have regular um, communication going out to clients and non-clients. And so basically now we have a plan that we know 12 months in advance exactly what's going to be going out every fortnight, weekly, uh, monthly, as far as blogs and newsletters, and we know what topics are going to be on in advance, and Rebecca helps us with that. Um, we also needed to be seen as experts in the marketplace, so it was important that we had information on our website and information that was going out to the marketplace that showed that we were experts, and Rebecca has helped us to um, promote ourselves in that way. Um, we needed to be better seen on web searches, so when people went into the um, internet and put in something like accountant East Tamaki, accountant botany, that we would actually come up on the um, front screen, and we now do, um, we didn't before, but we now come up with most searches in the top three. Um, I think it's really important also for us to have show a good example to our clients that we are actually doing marketing because it's something that we talk to our clients about doing and so we're now able to um, give a good example to clients that we're you know promoting ourselves and um, doing well in that area and the other th last thing was the um, ability to split our clients up into types and know where, where, where to target for our clients and Rebecca has helped us with that. And lastly, Daniel, now you're a professional selling a service, but you've just started becoming a blogger. Yes. Um, uh, well, it, I do retail and property consultancy, and, um, you know, like we all do, we, I have a website, and, uh, but then you're always looking for that extra thing that you can do. So I started doing a blog about six months ago, which I published once a month, and uh, that was good, but then... You know, we all, or the majority of us, belong to the LinkedIn sort of network system. And uh, and I thought, well, I think I'm going to start publishing them there. But I didn't get any response from it. And I said, what am I doing wrong? So Rebecca, we met. And Rebecca sat down with me and went through it. And I was doing everything totally wrong, of course. So um, uh, she showed me the way of how to actually communicate those posts properly on LinkedIn. Because if you have more than 100, uh, like I have 160 uh, connections in LinkedIn, I mean, I want them all to actually be able to, to see what I'm up to and also to promote the, what we're doing today. And that, Rebecca, was uh, really her help was invaluable. And I do appreciate that. And, uh, and that's basically it. And hopefully she'll keep on helping me going forward. And thank you. So the sorts of challenges we really enjoy are knotty situations where you think, I'm sure that there ought to be a marketing solution, but I don't know what it is. And so my invitation to you is to send us your marketing questions. Let's see if we can help you come to a solution that's profitable for your business. Thank you, guys. Any questions for Rebecca? Yes. Um, how do you charge um, your time and, um, you know, um, for different things that you do? We mostly charge on an hourly basis. We keep detailed timesheets. We have a timesheeting system. Uh, but for our regular clients, we have a monthly fee. And what they get is approximately a set number of hours. But the nice thing about that is that you can then be flexible over the months some businesses are much busier at different times of, of year, and so the client gets the benefit of having more support when they need it. Um, can I just ask one? You've, I see some people come in from time to time to um, sub for you. You've got some people you call on to help you with what you do? I do, yes. We have a small team. Uh, in the team, we have uh, Dennis, who's the expert programmer, and Coda, who uh, has been working almost exclusively uh, on one of our big clients. And then we also have... Um, a series of younger marketing execs, and we're a little bit of a social enterprise as well because I take them on straight from university as interns and help them get something on their CV which will help them get their first job. And of course, the benefit to me is I get to pick the best ones and offer them a job. And uh, currently, um, Jeremy is my right-hand man. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you.